हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इन लास्ट क्लास वी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दी कॉलम स्लो एंड द वेक्टर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ कॉलम स्लो इन दिस इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड्स बिकॉज यू नो दैट इफ द चार्ज इज कैप्ट इन एनी मीडियम देन दे सराउंडिंग सराउंडिंग एरिया इज एक्सपीरियंस सम इलेक्ट्रिक फोर्स and this is the, due to the electric field so in this in this session we will discuss about all the electric field and uh, what is the intensity of electric field so let's start the session so here is uh, electric field is all regarding to the electric field is uh, just wait for one minute yes so electric field is regarding to when we uh, brought a point when we a point charge is brought near to the another charge it experience a force of attraction and repulsion we all know that but if we are interested only determine the force acting on the charges then the coulomb's law is sufficient coulomb's law is sufficient because according to coulomb's law we can easily find the force but if you want to the know about uh, the uh, capacity or the intensity of the uh, electric force then the, it is determined by the electric field we can easily determine the electric field like this one here is the charge q1 so that the surrounding area this is the surrounding area of the uh, a q charge q1 on that surrounding area it experience some forces in this direction in this direction and in this direction so this is the surrounding area is called the electric field so what is the intensity because you know that if we uh, goes from away away from the charge then the electric force is becomes weaker than compared to the near near one so it's mean the intensity becomes weak so it's all about the electric field so in this in this session we will discuss about the electric field so the question is that how does a charged particle how does a charged particle interacts with another charge kept at a distance as the charge is not touching each other because without touching each other the charged particles are attracting each other so what is the reason behind this this one is called the electric field okay so let's talk let's uh, discuss about the intensity of electric field how can we find the intensity of electric field so here is the here is the basic definition of electric field that the uh, electric field is equal to the force acting on a unit positive charge place that point and this direction is same as the direction of force so it's mean you can denote as a you can denote as a that electric uh, field is equal to the force applied on the charge okay force applied on the charge the direction of electric field and the direction of force is same okay and this charge is a positive unit positive charge okay so you can determine this formula also that there is a definition that the test charge is assume sufficiently small point charge it does not disturb the other charges okay and it also does not depend does not disturb the intensity of the other charges so uh, many time electric field intensity is referred by the capital e okay capital e so we get we get the formula is equal to capacity intensity capacity is equal to e is equal to force upon q not okay and q not is uh, should be sufficiently very small because it does not disturb any other electric field so you can um, okay now the second thing if any object is a very small then you can determine determine as a limit because it is tending to zero almost its value kitni hoti hai zero so you can also represent as this formula but this is a not a, uh, a formula used in numerical so you just uh, understand the uh, limit of the intensity okay now let's talk about the dimension formula of electricity electric field intensity you know that force is m l t minus 2 and the charge having the as a into t so the uh, dimension of the uh, electric field intensity is m l uh, t minus 3 and a minus 1 this is the uh, dimension of electric field intensity clear so this is the all regarding to the electric field intensity we can easily uh, using the we can easily solve any numerical using the formula f upon q 
Now let's talk about uh, that the electric field due to the point charge. What is the formula of the electric field when a point charge is available and the, what is the intensity of that point? So look at here. This is the this is the point charge. This is the a point charge plus Q is pointed at O and I V and the electric field is like uh, here. Electric field is the direction of this one and the force uh, direction of force is also similar as similar as electric field okay and if we if if we kept another charge if we kept another charge like a test charge at distance r then what is the intensity of that due to the this charge so that this is the formula we all know we all we all know that the according to the coulomb's law is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught charge q into charge q naught it is a test charge upon r square okay and the direction is uh, determined by the r cap so what is the electric field intensity electric field intensity is equal to f upon q naught so if you put the value at here then 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square dot r cap this is the formula of electric field intensity okay so this is the formula of electric field intensity now if you if you observe that that the direction of force and the direction of the electric field intensity is same clear okay so you can also verify that uh, this uh, electric field is also a vector quantity okay and this is depend on the direction you can also pick the uh, negative point charge if you pick the negative point charge then the electric field intensity is opposite direction in a in an opposite direction so you can also determine the in a for the positive uh, point charge okay clear and if we draw a diagram that you know that the electric field intensity is proportional to the 1 upon r square okay so it's mean it depend on the square of the radius so if we draw a diagram if we are draw a diagram if we draw a graph between e and r then we got that this is a inversely proportional so it's a form of the parabolic form so just as r ki value badegi vaise se electric field intensity ki value kya ho jayegi kam hoti rahegi but kabhi bhi ye infinite nahi hogi so it's slightly closer than the x axis but if we if you draw a diagram if you draw a graph between e and 1 upon r square e and 1 upon r square then the graph is a graph is a straight line because 1 upon r square is a only one term and electric field intensity is also here so this is the graph of e and r this this graph is a very important e the graph between e and r is it clear i hope the point is all easily clear in next class we will discuss about the some other charges like a uh, like a spherical charges like a uh, electric field intensity in a sphere in a cylinder so we will talk about the other uh, derivations in the next class okay clear okay guys have a good day we will next let's meet in a next class